hello uh again youtube world like i told you the content would be coming at you hot and heavy uh this is gebeats with k went chauffeur extraordinaire tucker Back again tucker tucker come, come say hello and we also have uh papa tucker come here our guest star from last episode tucker. he's he's uh today which is definitely a different day than when i filmed the last video uh he's a little bit he's a little bit shy ah uh, here he is Hi, he's happy yes everyone's happy when they go to taco bell his mood changes he's a bit of a diva anyways right now i will be reviewing the oh this is fat quesalupa yes quesalupa ta taco bell quesalupa beefy uh i got beef Kyle got chicken. I got chickeny. The beef clocks in at 349. The chicken was like four something. It was 429? 429. Yeah. It was a little it was a little on the pricier side for Taco Bell. But it's basically a chalupa with like quesadilla. Yeah. It's like a mixture between it. It's two chalupa shells with cheese in between the chalupa shells. Um, so I've, I've heard some things about this going in. I haven't tried it personally, but, uh, I'm, I'm a little excited. Are you excited, Kyle? I'm always excited. Tucker, are you excited? Tucker's not excited. Tucker doesn't need excitement. Bad influence. That's, that's what... Gabe that's, and I are to Tucker. Bad yeah, influences. By feeding him copious amounts of Taco Bell. I almost added the fire sauce right off the bat. <laughs> I should know that's not how this works. Also, we don't feed him Taco Bell for reference. He gets his own food. This is this is what this mug looks like. That's it's fat. a little cold. Mine's warm. I, really? Or yeah. Have you waited too long to eat it? I mean, we're still in the parking lot. That's fair. Um, yeah, I can I can feel the coldness on the, the chalupa shells, but no we'll way, bro. You feel you feel cold. this i really like it mm. i'll give you your time sorry I why try with so black, hasty with black beans. hey i know i interrupted you a couple times but gabe this one's on me So can confirm, it's a little, it's a little chilly. It's on the chilly side, but it's quite nice. Um, I really like the crunch, the extra layer of cheese between the chalupas. Looks like you see this little, little ridge. It's kind of like when you uh, make a grilled cheese, and the cheese falls on the side of the pan outside of the sandwich, and it like crusts. I like that. It, it adds a nice little crunch to the <laughs> to the quesalupa. Um, other than that, it's a pretty standard chalupa by Taco Bell standards, uh, with the beef, lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese. Um, which I mean, their seasoned beef is always fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, and I think, as my viewers know, I'm a big fan of their tomatoes. They they, they balance off the rest of the meal well. So. As always, this time of the video, where I'm gonna spice things up a little. You're so my type. Facts. You're so my type. Facts. You're missing out. I think I got you. He's missing out. You're missing out by not being at Taco Bell right now. <laughs> That's so mean. Unless you're watching this video at Taco Bell, which would be meta as hell. You should watch your own video at Taco Bell, Gabe. No, I should watch a video of someone watching my video mm. at Taco Bell while I'm at Taco Bell. Mm. This guy thinks he knows how the world works. I don't. I teach him so I don't much. even think I do. He, he does. <laughs> I know that I don't. If I know one thing, I know that I know Just nothing. Shut the fuck up. I'm whipped. Oh. 
Those napkins that they didn't give us really would have come in it's handy. It's really fucking me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I fucking love their fire sauce. Excuse my language, children of the world. Um, that makes it instantly better. Crunch is still there. Everything that makes this good and quality is still out there. I'll go with a seven and a half. If it was, if it was warmer, I could imagine it rising. Uh, the cheese might be a little bit more melty. Uh, if that was the case, then the shell wouldn't have uh, gotten as soggy as it did if it was right out of the oven. The press. Press. Oh. Question mark. Um, I can't tell by this angle, but I might have a lot of sauce on my chin, so just ignore that. They did not give us napkins, just as they did not give us utensils in the last video. Uh, I see a common trend here. So, <laughs> shut up. So we'll go with service. Six. But we love our we love our Taco Bell. We love workers. our Taco Bell and its workers. They're just slacking a little today. They were very generous with the sauce, which I love. Um, but the Quesalupa itself, seven and a half. It's worth a try. I think there's a niche group out there that would really go bananas for this. What? Mmm. He was an Eagle Scout in high school. I wasn't, but okay. He was an Eagle Scout. Uh, <laughs> I can't make that joke. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so yeah, Kyle, thoughts on the Quesalupa? You know, I normally give my thoughts, but this time I'm going to pass it to Tucker. Tucker? That's kind of mean. Come here. Come here. Come here. That, no, that's what he said. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that yeah, was Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That was, that was Tucker making those noises. Mm. Um, yeah, I couldn't have said it myself, better myself. Tucker really <laughs> encapsulated everything about the quesalupa and those, uh, those short barks. So, thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful time on your next Taco Bell run slash in your lives as a whole. Um, and goodbye from us, from Tucker.